Hey everybody, going to be doing something a little bit different today. A couple months ago I restored a uh, old uh, Delta Unisaw. Great table saw. The fence, the original jet lock on it is a little bit lackluster. Um, but uh, after doing a lot of research I ordered up the Shop Fox W2005 Classic Fence. Today I'm going to be throwing that on the table saw. So here's what I've been working with. This is uh, the standard jet lock fence. Works all right, but uh, it's time to go. I have some kerf marks. You probably won't be able to see it too well, but uh, it's not cutting perfectly straight. And uh, despite the amount of adjustments on here, I could could have uh, replaced this this sacrificial fence here, but I can't. No matter how much I adjust it, I can't get this thing to lock perfectly straight. It's uh, it's just time for time for an upgrade. Also show you really quick just how this guy works because I, I did a lot of research and I couldn't find anything on on the old jet lock fences so if anybody's out there looking all the indication marks are fixed on this uh, rail here and they're not very accurate so pretty much every time I make a cut I am forced to measure it against the, the blade and like I said this it actually straightens itself up when you lock it but depending on which side you lock from it's uh, it's no good. So, as you can see, even some of the reviews stated that the box has come pretty banged up, but usually everything is in, inside is fine. Uh, I definitely agree with that. This thing looks like it's been run over a few times, but uh, from what I understand, nobody else had any problems with it. So, open it up. As I said earlier, I did a fair amount of research. Uh, my original intention was to buy the the uh, Meyer fence. But from what I understand, they've, uh, they've outsourced their products and uh, they are not what they used to be. So, there's a lot of good options out there. At the top of my list was the uh, the uh, Incra. It's supposed to be a really nice fence, people like that. It was a little bit out of my price range. I think I got this one shipped for about $270. That fits, fits my budget pretty well. So. Here's what we got here. Looks pretty good. Then I've got the old jet lock removed. It's time for the least fun part of new tools. The instruction manual. Alright, update. The rails went on pretty easily. Uh, no problems. The only thing, this Unisaw actually uses 3 8 inch one inch long by 24 inch TPI. Uh, that was not included in the kit so I had to make a run to the hardware store. I bought four of those and a couple of nuts for uh, this side here. Uh, I think it cost me under two bucks for that. The next thing I'm doing right now is they have shims to raise this uh, this rail up here um, for saws with a beveled edge. I actually have the opposite problem. I need to lower mine down because they tell you to flush the the rail with the table, I actually need to bring mine down a little bit because you're supposed to have a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth inch clearance between the fence and the tabletop. So, loosened up the nuts a bit, just tapping it around with this hammer, and then I'm going to use this uh, square here to make sure that it's level on both sides. Pretty straightforward, a little tedious. All right, so far so good. This has been the most, probably the most tedious part of adjusting this. Maybe spent past 15, 20 minutes. You want a 64th of an inch. Uh, you want the fence to be angled out about a 64th of an inch, which comes to about 15 thousandths on here. I just have an Incra jig and a magnetic base dial indicator. There's a, there's a minute amount of end play here, about five thousandths. I'm doing my best to uh, um, keep the uh, miter gauge pressed up against the uh, table slot bevel. And a uh, little bit of adjustment, I have it down. I mean, there's a little bit of variance in the fence. Um, but right now I have it down to about approximately 15 thousandths uh, out at the end. Give or take a little bit. It's about 16 there. It's good enough for me. I'm not usually this much of a perfectionist, but uh, I figure I spent the money on a nice fence. I'm going to try and get it set up as well as I can. All right, so this is the piece of S3S uh, poplar that I cut on the old jet lock. This is the factory edge here, which is pretty straight. You can see it against the fence there. This is what I cut on the old jet lock fence. Now, granted, a lot of that's due to 
just the uh, sacrificial fence not being perfectly straight, but uh, I just couldn't. I just couldn't get that thing adjusted uh, to make a good clean cut. For all my glue ups, I ended up having to do a little sanding, planing on the edges to get them to glue up right. So hopefully with this, we'll see here. I'm about to make the first cut. Um, I have the uh, Freud glue line rip on here, so hopefully that'll make life easier. Figure I'll test the uh, calibration of it. This board is just a hair over three inches, three and a sixteenth. So I'm going to try and cut it down to three inches on the scale, measure it, and see how that comes out. Perfect. All right, here's the edge I just cut. Pretty good to me. Much better than, uh, than what I was getting with the old jet lock fence on there. One thing that, a uh, couple of things, I mean, I've only had it for a few minutes, but things I've noticed. This magnifying glass here, um, not sure how I feel about that. It's called parallax, as if you look at it from different angles, it really jumps over. So um, I think it would have been better without it. You just got to make sure that you're standing right above it when you actually lock it down because it's really, you can kind of see here from the camera, you're going to get some, you're not to move much to get an inaccurate measurement. That and a micro adjust would be nice. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, but this thing's big enough to where you have to put a little bit of not hard but just to do small adjustments you really kind of have to work at it a little bit so probably keep a little tiny rubber mallet on here just to do some micro adjustments but uh, I'll um, be using this thing a lot and I'll uh, probably provide an update in a, a video and well thanks for watching the video everybody I'm planning on doing a, a monthly update video some uh, Q&A if you guys have any project ideas, questions, anything like that, let me know and I plan to acknowledge them in the video. Thanks again.